on the burner assembly inside as the flames ignite what happens is those sediment start to ignite and they start to move because what happens when you heat anything up it moves and so those those sediment deposits start to move around inside and that is typically what you are experiencing whenever you hear crackling sound now to the last item that we discussed which is not enough sufficient amount of hot water right here on the very top your inlets you have what are called dielectric nipples. These dielectric nipples serve three significant purposes. Purpose number one, they allow you to connect your supply lines to the water heater. Number two, they provide dielectric separation so that your connection to the actual water heater tank, which is underneath the jacket, is a solid, it is a ferrous metal, it's magnetic. These dielectric nipples have a separator inside that's plastic. It provides a barrier between your non-magnetic and your magnetic metals, which prevents electrolysis. We'll discuss that at another time on another video. These dielectric nipples have inside of them what are called dip tubes. These dip tubes are connected to the dielectric nipple. Now, imagine if you would, a long cylinder that's connected to this nipple that goes all the way down to the very bottom of the water heater. Well, what happens is the water travels up the dip tube, so you have access to this hot water at the very bottom as it travels up the dip tube and services you when you call for water. Over time, because of the hardness of the water, these dip tubes, they have a particular makeup that causes them to sever over time as they're exposed to hard water. So those dip tubes break off. As they break off, they break off in segments rising in the water heater. So imagine this, you did have access through the dip tube here. If the dip tube breaks off and is here, you don't have access to all this hot water because it will not travel up. It has to go through the dip tube. So you will have this amount of hot water. Once this amount is used, then you have to fill it back up. More people experience that problem than any other water heater problem, and that is typically one of the first signs that your water heater is going bad or needs to be serviced by a professional such as JT Services Professional Technician. So that concludes our video. We thank you for taking the time to tune in to us here at JT Services. We are not better than better. We are different. And we want you to have a different experience when you come and choose us to provide services to you. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next video.